Hi guys, this is Aisha Joshi and again I am here with you on the platform of GIS. So, our topic is 81 bonds. Why is this in the news? Why are we discussing this? What is 81 bonds? We are going to discuss about all these things in this video. This is important in the exam point of view se because of the latest news in Yes Bank. और येस बैंक के जो इकोनॉमिक क्राइसिस हैं जो सारी क्राइसिस चल रहे हैं येस बैंक से रिलेटेड वो सब हमें हमें नॉलेज में है तो बिकॉज़ ऑफ ऑल दीस क्राइसिस येस बैंक अभी इंपॉर्टेंट हो जाता है एंड येस बैंक के प्रॉब्लम को सॉर्ट आउट करने के लिए 81 बॉन्ड्स का जो इशू चल रहा है उस इशू को आज हम डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं ठीक है 81 बॉन्ड्स क्या है क्यों न्यूज़ में है और क्यों एक लीडिंग पॉइंट बना हुआ है एट प्रेजेंट ठीक है so let's have a look why in news recently RBI has made a proposal to write down additional tier 1 bonds as per the SBI led instructing package for Yes Bank Now in hal hi mein RBI ne ek proposal jo hai use write down proposal kiya hai that is additional tier 1 bond as per the uh, as part of the SBI led instructing package of Yes Bank okay so here what is happening Reserve Bank have decided to write off the um, 80 bonds okay or we can say uh, write off it means uh, to uh, do all the accounts uh, to do uh, to transfer all the 80 bonds account in discount manner okay so by this RBI will RBI has uh, proposed that we are going to write down the additional tier one bonds as a part of SBI. Okay, that is a lead instructing package for Yes Bank. That's why it was in news. Now what are the key points of it? 81 bonds. Uh, 81 bonds are a type of unsecured perpetual bonds. Okay, that banks issue to shore up their core capital base to meet the Basel three norms. Basel three norms को fulfill करने के लिए core capital basis पर ये एक bonds है जो bank द्वारा issue किए जाते हैं. ये totally unsecured and perpetual bonds हैं. ओके okay, तो दो तरह के रूट्स देखे जाते हैं इसमें एक तो होता है इनिशियल प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट ऑफर्स एंड सेकंड वन इज सेकेंडरी मार्केट बायस ओके इनिशियल प्राइवेट प्लेसमेंट ऑफर्स ऑफ 81 बॉन्ड्स बाय बैंक सीकिंग टू रेज मनी इट इज फॉर रेजिंग मनी एंड सेकंड दैट इज सेकेंडरी मार्केट बायस आर ऑफ ऑलरेडी ट्रेडेड 81 बॉन्ड्स ओके 81 बॉन्ड्स आर लाइक एनी अदर बॉन्ड इशूड बाय बैंक्स और कंपनीज बट pay a sing slightly higher rate of interest in it means in 81 bonds the um, investors will get the slightly higher interest rates okay so these bonds are also listed and traded on the exchanges exchange basis per we in a list kiya jata hai is trading ke liye use kiya jata hai and uh, so if an 81 bond holder needs money he can sell it in the secondary market okay so if uh, suppose i have 81 bonds and uh, at present i want to sell this uh, i want money that's why i want to sell my 81 bonds so that i can go through secondary market and sell all my bonds okay because it can be listed or traded on the basis of exchanges so it is uh, imposed slightly higher rate interest rates and you can list or trade it on exchange it means it can be used in secondary market okay so these points make this bond, these bonds basically important okay and uh, the, so when the um, investors see that they are getting higher interest rate and uh, they are uh, listed and traded on the exchange so that they can easily invest the money in it okay so investors cannot return these bonds on the, to the issuing bank get the money okay that is there is no put option available to its holders they don't have any put option it means they cannot return these bonds okay now however the issuing bank have the option to recall 81 bonds issued by them the issue uh, issuing bank can uh, easily have the option to recall the 81 bonds okay and uh, when the term call options that allow banks to redeem them after 5 or 10 years okay banks issuing 81 bonds 
can skip interest payouts for a particular year or even reduce the bond's face value. So it is the risk factor here that banks can reduce the payout interest rates and they can also reduce the face value and even let me know you one additional thing that bank can do these things without informing their customers and customers or investor can't claim or can't uh, pressurize the bank to get acknowledged okay then 81 bonds are regulated by rbi if the rbi feels that a need of a rescue it can simply ask the bank to write off its outstanding 81 bonds without consulting its investors so here what is happening in in the case of yes bank that yes bank is in a financial crisis and uh, it uh, the bank is not in condition to pay off all the debts of it okay so in this condition rbi regulated a proposal what it is that rbi said just write off all the outstanding 81 bonds okay and for that you don't have to consult the investors so that's why it is in news okay these are the key points now we just saw a word that is basel 3 norms what is basel 3 norms what are these norms so it is an international regulatory accord that introduced a set of reforms designed to improve the regulation supervision and risk management with within the banking sector post 2008 financial crisis okay now under the basel 3 norms banks were asked to maintain a certain minimum level of capital okay in under basel 3 norms banks will be will have to uh, you know maintain a certain risk minimum level of capital and not lend in all of the money they receive from deposits okay according to basel 3 norms banks regulatory capital as in the, is divided into two parts tier 1 and tier 2 okay while tier 1 is subsidi subdivided into common equity tier 1 and additional tier 1 capital so what is common equity tier 1 capital in under this it includes equity instruments where returns are linked to the bank's performance and therefore the performance of the share price okay they have no maturity at all and in additional tier 1 capital these are perpetual bonds which carry a fixed coupon payable annually from past or present profits of the bank is it okay i mean uh, in this context in this slide you can get everything about basel 3 norms basically uh, it have the basel 1 basel 2 also norms but this is the most renovated norm of it so that is generated by international regulatory okay so this was all about basel 3 norms they have no maturity and their dividends can be cancelled at any time together CET and 81 are called equity common equity under basel 3 norms minimum requirement of common equity capital has been defined defined tier 2 capital consists of unsecured subordinated debt with an original maturity of at least 5 years according to basel norms if minimum tier 1 capital falls below 6% it allows for a write off of these bonds that is already happening right now okay so it was all about basel 3 norms now let's have a look towards rbi regulations what are rbi's regulation towards banks so let's have a look in a situation where bank faces severe losses leading to erosion of regulatory capital the rbi can decide if the bank has reached a situation wherein it is no longer viable okay the rbi can then the de uh, sorry activate a point of non viability trigger that is ponv and assume executive powers of the bank by doing so the rbi can do whatever is required to get the bank on track okay including superseding the existing management or forcing the banks to raise additional capital and so on by rbi can take every individual step to take bank on proper track again okay
so however activating po and v is following followed by a write down it means by this write down of 81 bonds is being happened as determined by the rbi through the banking regulation act 1949 it 81 uh, write down of the bonds it is uh, done or determined in the banking regulation act 1949 okay by the rbi okay so it was all about rbi's regulation over banks so in this con uh, in this particular topic we go we had gone through all the uh, concepts of 81 bonds that why it is in news and what are the key points of it what is basel 3 norms and what are the rbi's regulation over banks okay this was all about 81 bond and it is in news so that it it, it is important for exam point of view and for that we have to go through all the economic crisis of yes bank also so personally i suggest you to go through all the economic crisis that has been happening from last few days so if you will go through that and you will get everything what i am going i was trying to understand you okay so thanks for watching i will try to take a new chapter with you and as soon as possible bye bye